can see out there. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Zoomed in a bit into the horses out there. It's not the best, is it? Let's have a look what's going on. There you go. Oh, that's not, that's not the best. You alright Hazel, you're off to take the D dogs out. Where are you going for a little walk? Just an abundance of dogs here, which I said earlier the other day, it's absolutely amazing. You got the horse. <laughs> that was a, that was a struggle. It's early, well it's not that early, but it's early for us. I mean we've been up for about an hour or so and it's I think it's probably about nine o'clock now. Not even that actually, maybe about half eight. There you go, she's off to the dogs for a walk. Kids, there you go, the horses galloping up along the, along the shore there. It's a lovely sight first thing in the morning. Look at all those big horses. <laughs> Here we go again, big horses. View of that, do we? That cloud over there looks a bit ominous, doesn't it? But it does. I thought it was meant to be quite nice this week, apparently. It hasn't been bad. We haven't done too much. I'm saying for pictures, I'm doing video of hot dogs having a shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not been bad, actually. It's been quite nice. It's a, bit, it's a bit fresh. Look at that cloud formation. Look at that. That is absolutely loaded with rain, isn't it? see that and that's blowing in our direction it's lovely though it's nice relaxed fox has hurt his foot we don't know what he's done to it he says he's hurt his foot but i'm not too sure um where the dog <laughs> dog came off the beach came into the house and uh took fox's dragon and then run off with it uh, he got it back and retrieved it again dog was very friendly but um, all we can hear is little foxes that squeaky voice going, my dragon, my dragon, she's got me, he's got my dragon. So, yeah, we rescued the dragon. So he's happy. Here comes Sky. Where is she? Sky. Wrong balcony, wrong balcony. Sky. There she goes, you can see somewhere she's standing there looking penny's dropped she's off it's absolutely fantastic place for dogs as well because I think there's only certain times of the year you're allowed to bring your dogs here but um, I mean look at her look she's, she's gone over the dunes now she's about to see a little brown carcass zooming around everywhere but yeah, they love it. The dogs are absolutely having the best time ever. Although Lily doesn't really show it on her face, so you can't really see if Lily's having a good time or not. She's just got this, she's got a great face for, for poker. A great poker face. So yeah, it's been all right. We've had teenage moaning from Willow that she can't get on the Wi-Fi and that she can't speak to her friends and just talking gibberish and nonsense. She's had a couple of temper tantrums, but they seem to have blown away. They've blown over now, so that's good. But all in all, it's been very restful, very peaceful, very enjoyable, which is what we wanted of it. It's not one of our mad, go mad and do everything holidays. It really is our get there, put your luggage in, and just get that door open onto the balcony. Look at the, the beach and into the, and the sand, look at the sea get there and have a, have a coffee or a tea and just chill but that's mostly what we've been doing I mean we have been around and seeing the usual tourist bits but um, we've not overdone it there are things that we could have gone to see that we haven't because we wanted to what was the point of booking this and then shooting and zooming everywhere when you you know really you're not enjoying what you should be enjoying which is which is that which is that view out there that beautiful view 
and we've booked a game for next year, Hazel informs me. So yeah, we're a bit off the mark with this. There you go, I don't know if that's any better. Zoom in a little bit. Horses on the beach. It's a little bit clearer than the beginning, isn't it? Than the video I took earlier. So it's lovely watching them. They've just been galloping and cantering up and down there. It's been lovely just to watch them. Just to give you some idea, look now, it was horrible this morning, well not horrible, but it was overcast, looked like it could go either way, well, particularly rain. Look now, the sun's got his hat on, it's coming out to play. Hip, 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 hooray. No, it's amazing, interchangeable, very, very interchangeable. I think it, it does, doesn't it, more of the coast. I think the weather is very interchangeable at the coast. But, yeah, totally different. Very nice. Wow, look at that. There's some blistering sun out there now. So we're going into one place I wanted to look for here is a place called Simon's Pie Shop. And we're just lucky enough being at a park near it. It's just around the corner. We'll take there now. It's going to be quite good on pies. Of course it is. But he does cakes and he does lunches. So something for everybody, I hope. But there won't be. I thought this looked interesting. Okay, okay. I thought this looked interesting. It says this oak plank originally formed part of a can't see that bit 11th century present door I can't really see that but yeah how cool so that was a, that was a prison door from centuries back interesting and um, it's attached to this place here called Cannon House Rye Castle Museum down there is Rye High Road and Hazel's gone walking off because we've got a ticket for that, but it's they've not put the clocks back or forward. I don't know, but it's, we're losing an hour on it somehow. So Hazel's sorting that out. And there you go. And Simon, the pie shop, is down here somewhere. It's a very, very pretty little town. It really is. Very oldie worldy as they say. Stunning. All these buildings from different time periods all nestled together, cheek by jowl. Must be a cheaper one here. But you look at paying a pretty penny for one of these. So I think that might possibly be chewed if I look at it. Guided ghost walk of Rye, missed that one. And here we have Simon the Pieman, established in 1920. The oldest tea room in Rye, apparently. Very nice. So that's interesting, it's part of the uh, infamous Hawkehurst Gang Smugglers Trail. Now these guys were notorious all around here. So here we are, we're now actually in Simon's Pork Pie Shop, or Simon's Pie Shop I should say. I'm going to have their pork pie. What are you having kids? Chips. What are you having? Chips. What are you having, Fox? Ham sandwich is predictable. What are you having? No idea. No idea, eh? Very old and traditional, love it. Okay. So I'm going to go as a sip of their pork pie. I don't know what these others are having, but I'm going to have a coffee as well, I think. Yeah, push the boat out. There you go. Simon the Pieman. Look at these goodies in here. Look at these delicacies. It's actually really nice in there. So you can't make it out up there, but there is actually a sign up there that says for our for our time, excuse me, for our time is the very shadow that passeth away wisdom. 
very interesting and very true. So you make the most of it. Enjoy every second. And don't worry about what tomorrow brings. What are you looking at, Hazel? Ginger cake. Oh my word. There you go, give you a better view of that house. Very antiquated through here, absolutely stunning. Right, well, I thought that was very not. What did you think, Hazel? It was very nice. It was nothing extraordinary, was it? I wasn't overrun with fish. No. Um, they didn't have a pork pie, so I opted for the pasty. The pasty was okay. I got a it was nice. It wasn't anything special. What about you, kids? What did you think? Well, what was your food like? It was good. Your drink? What drink did you have? I had a passion fruit mango pineapple. Oh yeah. yeah. An apple juice wow. smoothie. That's a lot of fruit in a bung bung glass. Fruit, Absolutely. That's good. Yeah. It's a little hard whip it there. Mine. What did you have? I had ham sandwich. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a ham sandwich. Yeah. Got Superman jelly beans. Like Superman jelly beans? Yeah, like oh, that's cool. Did you get sugar mice as well? No, no, you Oh, okay. Did you get sugar mice, Hazel? Willow. Well, I got some for Willow because you didn't want them. So oh. apparently, I got myself. Fair enough. What did she want then? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And I got nothing. No, I'll tell you what. We did. We They sold some absolutely amazing jams in there and um, what do you call them? Cus uh, curds and stuff. And I went for a. Uh, Oh, what did I go for? I went, I went for a damson because damson's my favourite. God, this is boring, isn't it? Hazel went for. What did you go for, Hazel? I had. I was tossing up Morello cherry. I don't know. I want to know what you were doing. I want to know what you went for. Apple and blackberry. Apple and blackberry. Oh, blackberry, and apple. blackberry and apple. And I brought. What else? Is it? I got a. a oh, whiskey marmalade. Orange and whiskey marmalade. Orange and whiskey marmalade. So, mm, 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 very nice. Nice on some toast. So yeah, that's it really. I think we're done now, aren't we, for the day really? So I'm gonna say goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Cheer this lot up, hopefully.